were alive. I was alive before you ever said I was alive. Another dad joke. I promise. Happy Sunday, everyone. I have no idea what just happened there. <laughs> None <laughs> whatsoever. I sang a little too. You're singing tonight, huh? No, just that one time. I think you should just keep on going. <laughs> that one time. <laughs> Sunday, everyone. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, uh, should we should we tell them the bad news first? Well, let us let them tell us in the chat. Do you guys want to hear the good news or do you want to hear the bad news? <laughs> I'm not sure why you were singing Happy Sunday, everyone. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts me. They're saying good, they bad, went, bad, the, bad. The bad news. Bad, bad first, bad, bad, bad news first. The bad, bad news, we are no longer in the sunny, sunshine state known as Florida. May, well, we could be close. And in honor of the time in Florida, I just want to sing this little song for Florida. Do you want to sing with me? <laughs> are you going to sing with me? I'll try to. Uh huh. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when Ohio's gray air. You'll never know, Florida, how much I love you. <laughs> Please don't take your sunshine away. Appreciate it, Mick. You know what I'm saying, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, we went from coast to coast to coast. We pretty much hit up all the four corners of Florida. We pretty much did. We were all, all over Florida. Because yeah. you're my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy When Ohio's grayer You'll never know, Florida How much we loved you Please don't take your sunshine away You know what, George? What? The other night when I tried sleeping But my back was in shambles I dreamed I was swimming with a dolphin With the name of Rambles See what I did there? See what I did there? What, what else did we do on this trip? I have it written down right oh, holy, here. Holy, holy coyote. I dreamed I was magnet fish. Wait, what rhymes with fishing? Fishing. Fishing rhymes with fishing. Off the fishing pier. What rhymes with pier? And I cast my giant magnet. <laughs> that was insane. Next. <laughs> Next to a hook right near mm -hmm. Cause you are my sunshine My only sunshine <laughs> You make me happy When Ohio's grayer yeah. You never know, Florida How much I loved you Please don't take your sunshine away The other day we walked along the beach front Appreciated Island Thrifts Picking up shells and crabs It's true And random no, people would walk by As I would tell <coughs> jokes written by other dads. That worked, right? Right? That kind of worked? Yeah. What else did we do? 
we saw we to meet a bunch of subscribers lots of subscribers uh, abraham scott said his daughter wants a rematch in connect four and i beat his daughter in daughters a daughters <laughs> it was his daughter and wife at one point in no, you're a of someone else. game you're thinking of another family and if we ever get back to florida <laughs> the state will never be the same <laughs> you're my sunshine <coughs> my only sunshine you make me happy when skies are grayer. Thanks, Robin. You never know, it's Florida, how much I loved you. Please don't take your sunshine away. <laughs> Please don't take your sunshine away. I hear there's a snowstorm coming into Ohio. Please don't take your sunshine. <laughs> Away. <laughs>We're getting lots of compliments on our hair. We People are are noticing your hair. Uh, they might have they might have watched a video uh, this past Saturday that we met up with a subscriber, and we did a little deal, and it worked out. It worked out. And we it got happened haircuts. Down. It went down and it went down today. But they're not going to get to see that actually happen until. Wednesday, Wednesday, so you have to stay tuned for that. So much has happened this week, and no doubt they have a ton of questions. Probably the biggest question, what do you so think? So many questions. What do you think their biggest question is? I think is? one of the biggest questions is where the hails are we okay. now? Okay, so that's a pretty huge... Ooh, ooh, I don't have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Camera's angled down. Usually it's just straight on. Uh, right now it's angled down. My apologies. <laughs> my, my apologies. Um, we still have lost my pants. Wait, we didn't find any new pants in the actual unit. So Donatella is on. We ha we hung out with Donatella and her husband got to meet her family. Amazing time. Said to the most generous people on YouTube. Thank you for what you did for me and my family, George. You look so beachy. Thanks, Donatella. Make sure you guys check out her channel. She did a quick video of our meet and greet. So I think it's like a 12 minute, 12 to 18 minute video. And you got a sneak peek of what our meet and greet was like and everyone that and was there. And anything that you saw in, let's see. The how units. Would, the units. So, so we got, what, what were we the got units? the rifle unit, okay. the safe and the cage unit. So the air rifle unit and the safe unit. In Donna has where units all of those were stored things. in cage like setting in the cage like yes, setting. That, that was, was crazy. That was bizarre. Never ever have I seen that in my life. Had to go to Florida to see that for the first time. <laughs> and I'm checking it off the bucket list. Finally have seen caged storage units. I never thought I'd see anything like that. Second chance sent five dollars says thinking of you, Jeremy, Thank at you. this difficult time Thank as you. I see you're awake. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, he's ref, ref, actually there. He's referring to my my Facebook post this morning, which said, "I am awake. Please respect my privacy during this difficult time." So. Oh, I haven't seen that one. With probably good reason. So, anyways, <laughs> we'll have to wear that out later. Uh, so, what an amazing week! So, we did we did get to meet with Donatella. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that and was her husband that. Ricky and Ricky. They did and the, the public kids. storage caravan auction with us Monday, which was awesome. So, which was her, which was Donna's first time doing a live auction in a very long time, but in West Palm area. And so that was a ton of fun. We found the safe. We found the money in the safe. Mm -hmm. And we have not looked up those coins yet. They are in the back of the truck. We will once we make it back to Ohio. If we, we ever make it back to Ohio. In. Because the big question right now is, where the hails are we? Mm -hmm. 
And where are we going next? Mm -hmm. That's probably some of the biggest questions that viewers yeah. viewers want to know. Yeah. And we'll see if we can get to that. So what did we? What happened on Monday? So Monday we did the public storage auction caravan. There was oh, so four we were with we were with Donna then on Monday. I don't even know what day it is honestly. because we were supposed to check out and head over to Sanibel, but we decided oh, to stay Oh, but we in stayed Beach, for the caravan specifically auction. Specifically for the caravan. That's right. Because we attended one on Friday. Yes, we attended a caravan auction with public storage on Friday. Sean, the district manager, said, "Jeremy, you got to stay. This is my better route." Yeah. We found the safe. Yeah. And so we were thrilled that we actually so, did stay. Yeah, no regrets. So everybody no who's been thing. asking, what are you doing with everything that you found? Oh, the guitar, the guitar uh, unit as well. So that that one, that video has over sixty thousand views right now. So that one has the most views, and people are going, "Hey, what are you doing with all that stuff?" Make sure you contact Donna if you want to. If you want anything from those videos, a lot of you contact us personally, but that's all been gifted to Donna. So everything mm -hmm. that we've done has either been donated. So Donna Tella, because they don't know who Donna is on YouTube, but on on YouTube it's Donna Tella Bodolina. She's the one that sent the twenty dollars super chat. So, so you can. Look Look at her super chat and click up there and you mm -hmm. can contact her. Yeah. So it's either been donated to a thrift store, it's been donated to Donna, mm -hmm. or garbage has been dumped out. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of garbage runs. <laughs> Jeremy did call dibs on the guitar, so that's not for sale, right? So I have I have the guitar. You're not selling it? I have the guitar. Uh, if somebody wants to buy it, I think I have five or six guitars at my house. So. What about the vest that you're wearing? Someone did offer you we have Close had to fifty dollars for this. There vest. is, is this there is, sale? there is a formal offer on this vest, and I'm not sure this vest is for sale. Maybe, maybe someday it will go up for auction on eBay with hoodie. 3.0? If it can reach the $14,900 <laughs> that Hoodie 1.0 actually reached. So right now Hoodie 3.0 I might have to put a reserve. I might have to put a reserve <laughs> on this because this thing is stinking awesome. So how many units have we bought total in, in Florida? I don't know. Let's think. I want to say five. All right. So Jacksonville, which was the, the thief, mm -hmm. right? Then we bought one in... We bought the two... West Palm. And then Boynton Beach. Oh, Boynton Beach. So that would be, so we bought two, wait, what did we buy before the safe and the air rifle? Because we were on the Friday run, did we buy anything? The guitar one. The so that's one. one, two, three. And then Boynton Beach, that was the hairdresser. And then the one with Jill. So the one with Jill. So is that six? five or six. So six, we bought six units. Yeah. Six units. Now three of those, the earlier ones, contact Donna. And the one that you saw on Saturday, Yesterday. and you're also going to see part two on Monday, mm -hmm. and you're going to see part three, not on Tuesday, but on Wednesday. If you want any of those items, you're going to contact Jill specifically. Mm -hmm. So and what, we have included her email, and we've included her eBay store as well. Yeah, and you'll see that in the in the pinned comments and the description. Yeah, so if you guys want to buy anything from Donna, she's been auctioning off a lot of the stuff too. But if you want to, if you don't want to wait for the auction, I'm not sure how she's going to divide it up. Um, make sure you guys email her. I think her email is auctions with Donna at yahoo.com. By Donna. By Donna. That Auctions was the first mistake Donna. you made. You've been telling mine people is, with, and it's mine, by. Because mine is with. Auctions with George. That's why I keep mixing it up. So on Tuesday, we ended up making our way across Florida to Fort Myers. So we went to the west side of Florida. Yep. And then we went to the Manatee Park. Wait, so where, where did we stay? Was that the... No, in Tampa. Tampa was the worst room ever. Ever no couch for and me it was to sleep a on. it was a Hilton too kind of no. disappointing. Oh for my Hilton. goodness! The, well, where did we in? We had the best room ever. We had the executive suite when we were in West Palms. Mm -hmm. I had a couch. I had a whole room to myself, and so that was so sweet. That was amazing. And then we went over to Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. Oh, where we met Mick. So yep. So we met Mick Draper and uh -huh. Mick. And let me she's tell you, in the chat right if now. If you have not met Mick Draper, oh Jill Mick, is in the chat oh, right Jill's now. In she's the, including yep. her email. 
Yep. And Make sure that email gets Donatella, included. Donatella, if you can include your email as well, that'd be helpful. Because a lot of people message us directly. They want to buy those items. Oh, Aaron's but, on top of it. James Aaron's on oh, top Oh, perfect, of it well. James. Because mm -hmm. we don't have those items because one of the dream is to actually go out on the road, help people establish their, their storage unit side business or main hustle and and gift them the units and so that's a lot of what we we practiced before full time on 2020 so that was a lot of fun uh and so we went over to we went over to fort myers because i wanted to go to sanibel island like crazy mm -hmm. and then there's a there's a really cool manatee park by the power plant did we film any of that no oh where the manatees migrate there because the power plant produces warm water so it helps them um there she is mick draper sent two dollar super chat says hola hola mick here we, we, we got saw, to meet her husband we saw mick and in her son Fort myers awesome people they are so ridiculously <laughs> funny if you ever have a chance to do a meetup of <laughs> youtube and meet mick and and Mr. Draper, uh -huh. you're gonna you're gonna absolutely love him. Yeah. You're gonna love him. Yeah. Mick reminds me of my mom. My mom my mom would go visit the shut-ins. She'd make personal cards for everybody in the hospital. Go visit not because somebody told her to do it, because that's the way God wired her. She's just so loving. My mom's middle name is Joy, and I gotta tell you, there is not a more appropriate name for my mom. And so Mick reminded me, spitting image of my mom. I loved it. Yeah great people very 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 fun they were hilarious but we went over to Sanibel Island on Christmas Day <clears throat> Christmas Day we made our way over to Sanibel Island um, by the way I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas with your families and your loved ones did somebody say shelling and so we made our way over to Sanibel Island and we made a Sandman since we couldn't make a Sandman. on accident if you haven't seen the video <laughs> There is the video, <laughs> Treasure on the Island. It was an accident. I was digging. I was scooping behind me. I was trying to look for the biggest shell ever. And somehow he made a and bloated And somehow sand everything, man. there's this bloated Sandman, <laughs> spitting image of myself, actually. And uh, I gave up, so I didn't win. The, the, usually, Sanibel Island is the number one place for shelling in the United in States. In the U.S. So, and then we found out that it's the, the top three places all over the world, like all over the globe. And the other two places are, are different, over countries. different countries. So, the reason why I wanted to go to Sanibel Island, I am a treasure hunter first and foremost. And in the actual video when we show treasure on the island, it's an incredible place to find treasure. And most people don't understand shells are worth money. Money. The very one of the very first currencies was shells. Shells, <clears throat> and so the they would trade shells as monetary currency, and so shells are worth a ton of money. And we went to go treasure hunt with those shells. Island Surf sent five dollars super chat says, "Come visit the Space Coast, and I'll take you to visit the manatees and seagulls or oh, sea glass glass hunting." Um, oh, I'm not angry. She lives in Cocoa Island. Where's Cocoa Island? We, we passed. It's between Jacksonville, on our way from Jacksonville to West Oh, Park. so we it's passed like, Cocoa yeah, Island. Yeah, we passed that we up. passed it. We got another one from Purple, Purple Pickles. Purple Pickles. From Canada. $3. $3. Wow. Appreciate it. <laughs> Richard Lopez wants to know, who cut your hair? Do we dare tell yet? Well, if you watched if you watched Saturday's <laughs> video, we we plainly tell you that we needed haircuts bad, and we're surviving off of this trip. But we have to be able to barter anything we get. We have to be able to get from a unit, and we have to barter and trade. Because we're still in, the whole in survival deal. mode. We're in survival mode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so that was part of the deal. We got to meet Jill Presley, uh -huh. who is a beautician by trade, mm -hmm. and then has a side hustle with the storage units. Yeah. And so we she were- She started buying units uh, in May. And you'll get more of that story in the next two videos that mm -hmm. come out as well, which you'll appreciate because- Adventures with the Hudson's just just said who- Oh, Jill, yep. Yeah. And so you'll, you'll get to see that process uh, within the next couple videos. So that was the only way that we officially could get haircuts. It was to actually trade and barter, and we did that with storage units. So, mm -hmm. um, in, so in regards, I just got my dead ends trimmed, and I don't have any dead ends. I don't even have hair. So, and then, 
And then Jill put, um, my hair has like some type of a wave and then she put like this gel in it that makes it even wavier. So this is my beachy wavy look. So for those of you who noticed and complimented me, thank you. Steve Kelly sent $2. Sorry, no heaping hunk of a holly jolly. Nice vest. <laughs> Hashtag nice vest. <laughs> Where's the pin that you've been rocking? Did it fall off? Might have. My, it did. It fell off in the truck. <laughs> it fell off in the truck. So, so we went oh, over. I think I accidentally said Cocoa Island. It's just oh, Cocoa Beach. <laughs> oh, and Mick, Mick just mentioned she bought dinner because we're in survival. Oh yeah, and that's she right. did. We had to wrestle Mick over the table for the for, for the, the bill, for but the we're check. in survival mode. <laughs> so she bought. She brought us. Now this wasn't cheating because because we were bartering with with Mick, but she did bring us. Back pain medication, four rolls of two ply, the good stuff, the really good stuff. And she paid for dinner because we're in survival mode. Mm -hmm. So really in bartering for those items, we told her stories. That's pretty <laughs> much pretty much what it amounts to. And Jay's treasure hunt sent $2.99. Fist pump. Fist pump. <laughs> we're not really angry. You won't like her when she's angry. And you guys won't like him when he's angry. I never. Yeah, I do. So, <laughs> so then we okay. So we had our room so that in was, Fort that Myers. Was Christmas Day. Fort Myers room was. Eh, it didn't matter because we were near Sanibel. So the only thing that mattered. It what, ended up being a hotel that you stayed at in the past. Yeah, I actually like stayed there like six or seven years ago. It was yeah. the weirdest thing. We had no clue. He was but having I stayed there six or six or seven years ago. Yeah, he was having deja vu. And and but it was nicer back then. It was kind of, but. At least I had a couch to sleep on, but the couches are killing my back, and so. Um, Which is why you bought the. We did. The okay, so on. since it is survival mode, we did go to Walmart. I bought a memory pad, a memory pad to sleep on. So. That was the only, we didn't find one in a unit and I was not going to be able to walk if we did not do something to correct that. So. So, so we I didn't gave, have to I do that. I gave him that hall pass to do so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she said, yes, you may spend your money on... <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No pants. Mm. All right. So... So Thursday then, is when it got crazy. What was Thursday? Twist of events. Oh, Thursday. That's when we went magnet fishing. We went on the pier, the Sanibel Pier. Okay. How many of you want... Everybody wants follow-up. Everybody's been dying for follow-up on the grenade with yeah. magnet fishing. Yeah. All right. If you want to know... If you want follow-up with magnet fishing, type 1 down below. If you want us to just move on to something else, type 2 in the comments so we know what's going on. Flipping for Profits just said, hey guys, Happy New Year. We just posted a video about flatware that sells for big money on our channel. Check it out if you get a chance. God bless. Oh, Bam! Oh, appreciate it. All right, there Having we go. Okay, ones, one, 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 one. a couple twos. One, one. Just a couple twos in there. One, one, one. Mostly, mostly ones. Yeah, mostly ones in there. Yeah, it looks like everybody wants to know what the deal is. Yeah. Okay, so we... We so went magnet was... fishing. Would you want to set the stage? Someone just complimented you on your legs and then said, nice legs, Jeremy, no homo. <laughs> Not your feet. <laughs> you could tell Jeremy wore a lot of dead high socks because it ripped like all the hairs off his legs. <laughs> he has no hair here. From wearing socks that come up here. <laughs> right? Am That's I how right? I roll. Am I right? I'm a dad. Okay. So, do you want to set the stage for... Wait, the, the chat like disappeared. Well, uh, we're on we're on internet for the <laughs> for the hotel, so uh -oh. people are like put your feet down. <laughs> so we go out. Danny to says the nice pier. toes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sherney says, what are those? <laughs> How did we decide we were gonna go magnet? Conky Swilpin's adventures goes, dude, I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, how did we decide we were going to go magnet fishing in the first place? Well, I've never been magnet fishing. Actually, I had the opportunity to go magnet fishing when we went to Kelly's Island. So I went magnet summer. fishing over a shipwreck in Lake Erie. But I knew I wouldn't ever. be able to handle it because they went on a very small boat. And once they anchored it, all it did was rock. And I would have been puking over the, <laughs> over the boat. So I stayed behind and didn't do um, magnet fishing with you then. So over the pier, I was like, yeah, I could do it over the pier. So it was exciting for me because I've never been magnet fishing. And then... Well, we started in one location. So here's the thing. Fishermen... We hit up every corner on the... Well, we got to set the stage a little bit because fishermen are very, very anal, okay? So here's the thing. If you've got a fisherman in a fishing boat versus a speedboater, fishermen hate, or fisherwomen, hate speedboaters. Yeah. Pretty much they hate anybody who isn't them. That's what it comes down to. They're very if, territorial. If you're, not a fi if you're not fishing, they're territorial because you're disturbing the fish. So in other words, it's like... They own everything, okay? Maybe that's just the ones here in Florida. Because I don't remember no, the ones everywhere. in Ohio it's being every that way. I, my first job was a speedboat driver at 16. It's everywhere. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. So they think they own the water. They think they own everything in the water. And everything is public access, right? So there is an issue when they're fishing for shark and they are fishing for shark and everybody watches Shark Week and they go, oh, you throw a magnet in the water and sharks run away from magnets. So are we putting shark deterrents right, in the water? Adventures. Maybe, but we're trying to find things. So we start in one area where nobody's actually at and- With the smallest magnet. With the smallest magnet. Because we have three different sizes. But we want to hit up the whole dock too. So things are moving around and people are watching us. People are gathered around. So it's a spectator sport too. So people are on the pier actually watching people fish and they're watching us. They're coming up alongside and watching mm -hmm. us magnet fish. Yeah. Most of these people haven't even seen anything like this before. Right. So it's spectator. So it's foreign to them because they've never seen it. And I want to say magnet fishing is relatively new. It's a newer sport. It's a newer thing. Yeah. And and then when you have me over exaggerating my throws as far as I can, a <laughs> hundred feet, and then you know cowboying up, and so you know it draws a little <laughs> bit of a crowd. Yeah. But the f people who are actually fishing don't like that. And there's a level of respect that you got to have for them and that they have for you as well. So we were very respectful. We weren't throwing near mm -hmm. any of them or anything. And we did get to a point. We were moving around the pier. We got to the point. Uh, let me get second chance. Second chance, $5. Back pain is no joke. Thanks, Jeremy, for entertaining us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, so, whoops. <laughs> So we did have an issue with one fisherman, and you just get a glimpse of the drama. Oh, Jonathan, Jonathan. Rosberry, thank you for taking us on your adventures. Thanks for following us. I have no idea why the hells you guys watch this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, smash! So we had one fisherman who I'm throwing. We get to the biggest. We get to the biggest. Um, the biggest magnet, and I cast it out. What did he say to me? Do you remember? He goes, you better not catch shark hooks. That's so, what he said. He says, you better not get my hooks on that magnet. And me being polite, I said, well, it, if we do, He's it's like, no big well, deal. Hopefully we'll just, we won't. So hopefully it doesn't, but if we do, we'll just take, take the magnet off. off. Yeah. So then his snotty response was. He's like, He's like, or you'll lose a magnet. So kind of like under his breath though. Me being me, I'm ready to beat the boy to a pulp. And he's not a boy, he's 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 a young man. He's a cocky young man. Yeah. He was very, very arrogant. And so so she's there. I she knows I would never do anything like that in public. I would only take care of things privately. And 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 some of that's just the way that I am. But what I did do is I was like, turn the camera on. And so I make a comment to the camera and we're right next to him. He's maybe 10 feet away. And I'm like, oh, we got a fisherman here. Thinks he owns the place. <laughs> and so do you want to tell him the next thing I did right after so that off takes, camera? So then he takes the hook or the magnet. the magnet 
and then inches his way over to this dude. Where right this dude next to sit, him. Right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> like their shoulders touch, and I'm like, oh my God, a fight's about to break out. I'm going to have to start throwing some flip flops at someone's head. <laughs> so she's getting all nervous. She's not, you know, and when she says flip flops, the Arabic, that's a joke, <laughs> the Arabic thing. She's getting all nervous because she knows I don't like that rudeness. And yet there's people everywhere and people are gathered watching all of this too. Yeah. And it is just completely and totally disrespectful when we were being respectful to everybody. What we eventually ended up doing was going to the, all the fishers, all the fishermen were on one side because the wind and waves were all blowing in <laughs> the one angle. We would probably say it was blowing, it was all blowing north. In that corner where he was fishing. So she finally was like, well, let's go on the other side. They, they had a bunch of bait buckets over there, so the fish would jump in bait buckets. Mm -hmm. So we went to the other side, and then drop and plop. Oh and we gosh. ain't talking about potty time. Oh, my gosh. So we drop and plop. Well, remember? Steve Kelly. Oh, Steve Kelly, 222, I love you too. We'll be buying units soon. Awesome. Good luck, Steve. <laughs> Get a big one. Okay, so... <laughs> So Keep us posted. We get on the other side, and all of the wind and the waves. So we found a bunch of hooks. We found the weight. We found, we found the, the the pliers, the pliers uh, right after the crab got caught. So that was cool. Oh, so pinchers for pinchers. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really cool. And we go to the other side, and we're thrown over there. And we have people around us. There are people actually watching us. Again, remember, spectator sport. Uh -huh. Okay? And so people are there... They're at the beach. There were a ton of people on Sanibel Island for the holiday. And George brings up. Ba -ba -da -dum. Oh my gosh, it was insane. It was insane because it was my first time. Like, what are what are the chances of that happening? The first time you bought a storage unit, you found a sword. What did you think did. was going to happen? <laughs> I figured she was going to be reeling swords out like, oh, yeah, here's another one. Oh, oh, got another awesome one. How would have been if I reeled up a sword <laughs> or a knife? Well, I didn't think there'd be anything, I didn't think there'd be really anything there because Sanibel is such a tourism island and it's very, very high affluency. To get a one bedroom condo, which is like 400, 500 yeah. square feet, you're looking at half a million dollars. For the fun of it, I was looking up, I was on Zillow looking up property for sale um, on the island. And she knows I've always wanted a yeah. place on Sanibel. The so cheapest was, you can get is land. For like half a million, yeah, a little postage Three, stamp. Yeah, like yeah. two fifty three hundred thousand was the was the least amount. But all of the houses on there, one point five and up. So yeah. I've always wanted a place there to where what you would do is well, most like a it's a vacation home. You rent it out, you furnish it, you rent it out to everybody during the rest of the year. But when you want it, when you want it, you just block it out, and that pays for the mortgage. Your rent you a do vacationer. Like Airbnb it pays for the mortgage. Mm -hmm. So you get a mortgage and then you go whenever you want. And the nice thing would be I could fly to Florida whenever I want, have a vehicle there and back and forth. But uh, haven't haven't done that yet. But that's always been, that has been a dream that's of mine. on your for, bucket list. Like for like 10 years, that's, that was in the works. But uh, we're there, never in, the, never in a million years did I actually think there would be some type of weapon. Mm -hmm. And yet leave it to George. Uh, I got a bad back from sleeping on couches was, all I over was Florida. Speechless. Basically, like in a I think nutshell, a lot of people would be speechless too. Like we were scared. That's yeah. what it amounts to. Because we didn't know what was going to happen. Okay, so here, here's here's the issue. Okay, here's the issue. We have people around us who see that it comes up. You have the issue of, do you even pull it off of the actual magnet? What could happen? Mm -hmm. You have the issue of inducing panic. You have the issue of, I was just about in a fight with another fisher, and I wanted to throw it at him. Pull the pin, let it go. Um, <laughs> but he wouldn't do that. But that was a joke, all right? That was sarcasm. That was a joke. Um, oh, Steve, Steve Kelly, Kelly just said, timeshare, time baby. baby. Don't ever do a timeshare. Don't ever do a timeshare. That What's is a complete total waste Airbnb of money. What's the difference between Airbnb and timeshare? Timeshare, you don't own it. You want to physically own property. Real estate is the best investment you can ever make. You get the tax deductions from the property that you own. Timeshare, you don't legally own it. Mm. But own it, rent it out. That's Mick passive Draper, income. Mick Draper sent $2.00. Fort Myer is much more reasonable to buy. Yeah, sure is. It is. And it was only, what, a 35-minute drive? 
if that 45, 45 minute minutes? drive but the thing is you want to get out the on way, the beach at the 6 a.m the way he drives 15 minutes 10 minutes really <laughs> but do you want to get out on the beach at 6 a.m after the storms hit and all of that and the low tides to really go shelling to find the high dollar so shells. every day we're on the island we are looking at the times of low tides and high tides yeah you want to know your low tides for shelling yeah. so all right you bring this thing up, we have all these variables. Everybody wants to know what's going on with the grenade. Yeah. You have, do you even take it off the magnet? You have induced panic with everybody on the actual pier. You have spectators that are watching us. You have, uh, you have, I almost just got Someone in a confrontation who's ready with a fisher. Like snitch for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, so you have all of that the because they're mad because, because I was throwing magnets out in the water and magnets repel in theory, whether, you know, whatever. So you have all of these variables, and then all of a sudden you bring up a grenade. The filming stopped there. Mm -hmm. That's you saw what it what it was and what it stops. So here's here's what we'll share with you. I haven't even been reading comments. Have you? Uh, well, a lot of people are chiming in about timeshare oh. and <clears throat> uh, where in Florida we should be moving to. And so all that being said. Uh, magnet fishing stopped immediately. Yeah. yeah right magnet right. fishing stopped right there, mm -hmm. right there. And one of the things I don't, I don't remember if this was on camera or not, but I told her, I was like, get down. I don't want to, I don't want anybody to be panicked. And so we, we got down and, and we're so both hunching we're over hunching, so that no one we sees. literally are hunching yeah. over and we have spectators around us as well. So what we had, we had, we had a little plastic tote with all the magnets in it. Yeah. There was no way we were taking the magnet off. We didn't, we Cause there was only enough shock. room for all the magnets and the ropes. That's it. So you're in there shock. There was no room for anything First else. of all, yeah. right? You're in shock because you don't anticipate that happening. First of all. So you're in shock and you don't want to induce panic. Mm -hmm. Second of all. And the very first thing that you're thinking, now when you watch it, the very first thing that you're thinking is you're like, oh, well, I would do this, 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 and this. That's because you're not in the heat of the moment. And when you're in the heat of the moment, mm -hmm. you're like, oh. It's a whole different story. <laughs> it's like your mind stops working. There's so many things that happen to us on a daily basis. What did Steve Kelly just send? Uh, something about YouTube. But oh, we'll give him $2. <laughs> there we go. $2. Smash. All right. So we're, we're just sitting there like, what in the world? We don't want to induce panic. We don't want an issue. We are, you know, there potentially could have already been an altercation between me and the other guys over there. Mm -hmm. And and I would have thought it would have been hilarious to just take it over and throw it at them. But not smart, okay? Not smart at all. And I think we just, $5 from Soul Satisfaction. Thanks for inspiring me to buy my first unit. I spent $100 on a five by 10, it was filled with totes of Nike's Adidas, Ralph Lauren. I'm hooked wow. now. Nice job. Nice. You smashed it. Happy, wow. uh, happy selling there. That's incredible. Or treasure hunting, whatever you're gonna do with it. We love your success stories. Mm -hmm. We absolutely love yeah. them. Yeah, always keep those coming. Okay, so we've got the grenade. Uh, and so many people have asked, was it real? Was it a dummy? It's a live grenade, okay? It is a live grenade. Uh, we. Should we, should we say was? So we, do, we don't have it anymore. We'll yeah. tell you how it went down. Steve yeah. Kelly, $2. Look it up. So it was look up. So look we'll up. To, we'll have to go back after the live and click on the link. <laughs> I'm not, looking, no, Steve. not literally look up, but look up oh. the link that he My included. My legs. <laughs> I got no pants. Okay. Um, for those of you that are worried that I don't have any pants. All right. So... Don't tell my secrets. <laughs> you share my secrets all the time. All right, fine. All the time. <laughs> I have shorts on. All right. So we're there and we actually have, we, we have the, the whole thing, the pineapple grenade, right? Mm -hmm. It's there. We have the pineapple grenade. And what we do is decide, uh, Aaron Proctor says, please at least have boxers on. Can't promise anything, Aaron. Can't promise anything. Uh, so, <laughs> so we have a little tote that we have the magnets in. We don't dare take the thing off the magnet, and we just set it down 
and take the top of the tote and we leave. We go to the truck because we don't want to be in the presence of everybody on the pier and we don't want to induce panic. Okay, so what do you do at that point? Panic some more. Okay. That's what I did. So you're on an island, you're vacationing, it's filled with vacationers. You go, okay, well, who do you turn this thing into? Now it's in the back of the truck, right? By the way, you don't see, you see this video a day after it happened. So a lot of people go, why don't we get follow up? Why don't we, don't, why don't we, you see what happens and there's always going to be more that happens that follows it. But if I'm going to show you what happens on a daily basis, you're going to see what happened on that day. And that's where it ended. That's what happened. Nothing else happened that day. We have this in the back of the truck and have no idea what to do with it. Right? So the next day we are going to the nature preserve and we're going to the Shell Museum and all of these places. The refuge, and guess, the refuge center. Guess what we find on the island? You never would have thought it. There's a police station on Sanibel Island, which makes sense. Yeah, there's but everything there. Not when you're over at the lighthouse pier. There's nothing over there. It's just condos and beach and shells. I'm like, if you're going to call somebody, you're going to call Shell, right? You're going to be like, hey, hey, Shell, what's up? And I'm not talking about a girl named Shell. I'm talking about an actual shell because that's all that's there. The beaches are littered with shells. So it just so happens the next day we drive past a police station mm -hmm. on the island. Mm -hmm. Now, keep in mind, all of you that are going, oh, man, you left us on a cliffhanger. We don't know what happened. That was it for that day. The video is edited. That's the day it goes. You're not going to get more from the next day because it's already edited. It's already done. That day is done. We don't know that we're going to find a police station. Flip it for profit. We're buying a condo in Bronston to rent out. Nice. Nice. Oh, we might want might to actually rent that out. I might want to get a day or two there. <laughs> Congrats if that's your first uh, property. Grimes Finds, love y'all. Have been up at 4 a.m. See you next week on Taking a Risk with some huge news. So, huge with a capital U. Huge. The age is silent. So is I'm assuming Grimes won't be on George George's live? We will. Yeah, we'll be on there. All right. So we're on the island. We're headed towards the actual... Uh, Shell Museum, the Nature Preserve, and we go past the police department. So what we do finally is go, okay, by the way, this is the other thing with all of you go, oh, I would call the authorities. I would contact the authorities. I would call the, all right, we've been there before. When you call the authority, here's the challenge in calling the authorities. Number one, anytime you put a camera in front of a cop's face, the cop is always going to tell you, stop recording me, and yeah. they get an attitude. You like have it. every legal right, and frankly, I'm going to say you have every responsibility to film the local authorities. That's called accountability, just as they have every right to film you. So anytime an officer tells you not to film him, don't ever turn your camera off. You have the right and responsibility to do that. Because what happens when their story says, oh, Jeremy's inducing panic with a grenade, and then I don't have any evidence to prove my point of the story, right? So it's self-protection. And while the authorities are there to protect and to serve, Frankly, it just doesn't always happen that way. You have to be proactive about protecting yourself as well. And most police will tell you, do not record me. And when they tell you that, don't ever turn the camera off. You have every legal right and, again, responsibility to record for your protection and accountability. Especially if it's a one-party consent. And it doesn't matter with officers. Officers, you always have, doesn't matter where you're at, they are... They are legal public servants. You can record them. And Minde Pesquero, P's and Q's, set up buck 99. Love you too. Thanks for the content. Thank you. Thank you. So we did not actually record on the island, but that whole episode is already done. Mm -hmm. We had our recordings of what we found to go, all right, here you go, right? Mm -hmm. So the other issue you have is you come in with a grenade 
And what's the very first thing they're going to do? Push you down on the ground, put cuffs on you. Mm -hmm. So that's a scary thing too. Yeah. So we went through that situation when we found all those drugs in that one unit where the, the police literally belittled belittled us and made us feel guilty as if they were our drugs. Mm -hmm. And from that point we went, all right, we're not turning yeah. anything else in like right. that. It's just we're going to destroy it on our own. So that becomes another issue because when you go, oh, I found this it becomes an interrogation of, no, you did this. Mm -hmm. And you have terrorism, inducing panic, all of these things. So all of you people out there that go, oh, I'm calling the authorities. I know what I would do. I would call the authorities. Good luck with that. Yeah. As, but what we did the is... The right thing to do would be to call the authorities until you're in that situation and you see how you get treated. Well, and we, so didn't, we didn't even know there were authorities on the actual island. Yeah. So we didn't call anybody, nor would we have wanted to induce panic. The good news is we have video of us actually Finding magnet it. fishing. Yeah. So that got turned in with the magnet. We never took it off. Here it is. It's in your hands now. Boom. No pun intended. It did not go boom. Okay. <laughs> all right. So in other words, done. So you don't see all of that. Uh, Craig Race says, thanks for inspiring me to start American Treasure Freaks. It'll start getting storage units within a couple weeks. Thank you. God bless oh, you both. Man, go get some. I like some. that name. I like that name. Smash it. Smash it. So we no longer, oh, we got another one. Steve <laughs> Kelly, liberal cops. Steve I call my Kelly lawyers first. Tonight. Yeah, Steve Kelly is putting the money out um so all that being I think he said meant to say i'd call my lawyers first yeah absolutely always yeah that's a smart thing to do as well yeah. so it's no longer in our possession yes it was live it is in their possession we did not take it off the magnet we did not do it we were able to show this is what happened and with with taking all of that into consideration the benefit is we actually had video because we are youtubers to say this is what happened this is mm -hmm. here it is and there were people on the pier as well watching us who could verify that we didn't have names or anything like that but we had a group around us mm -hmm. that were spectating as, as we were actually yeah. magnet fishing yeah. so the benefit is is there were witnesses even though we didn't have their names probably in the future what i would probably do is try and get all of their names so that would have been smart for me to do is actually instead of panicking and turning the camera off would be please tell me your name and so you could be a witness please tell and you know get their names and everything on camera that would have been the smarter thing to do yeah I'm not always that smart, though. Not always. <laughs> so does that answer that question for everybody? Yeah, I think it answers a lot. So does that, that was the bulk of the question. They wanted so, to know what happened. What happened to the grenade? A couple people were asking we what don't the know value what, of the grenade was. Oh, I no idea. We didn't even, that was the last thing on our mind. We so didn't even here's, think to do something here's like what that. we think was actually happening with it. Because if you throw dynamite in the water, and this is, it's illegal. You throw dynamite in the water, it creates an explosion and it kills the fish and the fish all rise to the top. That's the way a lazy man fishes, right? That's illegal. So potentially. I didn't even know that. So potentially somebody could have been out there fishing with grenades actually cause an explosion and then rises up to the top. Yeah. I, this sounds really risky to me, but then what was happening, everything pushes up to the shore. Everything. Mm -hmm. Everything pushes up to the shore. That's why Sanibel is one of the greatest shelling places in the world. And it is number one in in the United States. So everything was pushing up there. Could you imagine if... If we cast out again and found something else, at that point, oh it was like, gosh. all right, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> I, we were done for that day, but now it makes me want to go to other places to magnet fish and find other weird stuff. You just want to find swords. That's what you want. <laughs> you just want to find swords. I won't swords. stop until I find swords. And that's what she'll do. She'll throw the magnet and she'll be like, huh, another sword. I doubt, I doubt that I'll find a sword. And I'll throw it in and I'll be like, huh, a magnetic rock. <laughs> Actually, you found a magnetic rock. Yeah. You were playing with it. Name? You were like, I don't know what was it was. Was that the real name? It I was picking been. it up and then, and then letting it go and then the magnet would suck it back up. Yeah, well, it could have been a piece of steel, but it sure did look like a, a, like a rock, rock to yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. It could have been a magnetic rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was probably the biggest thing that was on people's mind, what happened with all that. And that's why you don't see it all because the video was done that day. And the yeah. next day, we didn't even film the next day. We actually, the next day, because we went to the nature preserve, 
We went on a pontoon ride in the bay we to did, see manatee and We did the wildlife. pontoon guided tour. And then we did the Shell Museum. And we didn't record anything from no, that day. That day. We, that was the... That was like our day off where we actually enjoyed the island and didn't have to worry about recording and it was it was like a, a me day for the both of us it was nice and the weather turned out to be perfect um virginia mentioned that there's a shell museum in fort myers virginia there was one on the island as well and then we went to the refuge center the refuge. was it called a refuge center? we went to the wildlife refuge. refuge yeah so we went to the nature preserve and then yep. we checked out the library, which there was a shell exhibit there. Did somebody say shelling? <laughs> so if you hear us cracking jokes about did somebody say shelling, I'm going to tell you the story about that. No. Okay? You're, you're really He's gonna not going to be on here. How do you know that? Uh, he and I is magnetic rock geology majors. <gasps> Steve Kelly, 212. Hematite is a magnetic rock. Oh, okay. So that's probably what we found. Hematite. So Christmas night, there was one place open on the island to eat. So we went there for Christmas dinner because we didn't find enough food in a unit. We actually, we, we cheated. We had Christmas dinner at a, at a restaurant, right? Well, everyone in the chat knows I would never feast off of storage unit food. Really? <laughs> so there's Hold this guy second. john john just said day off youtubers don't take days off <laughs> isn't that the truth that is so truthful so true we work today too so there's this white nerdy guy sitting next to george and i know what you're thinking you're thinking yeah it's you so Jeremy. Are you. <laughs> uh, it wasn't me it was on the other side of george so do you want to tell him how the conversation happened um you were either parking or you left me I went by to myself. The we sat at the bar because it was packed. It was like oh a forty-five minute so wait for. People. It was a forty-five minute wait for a table, and so I told the girl. I gave her my name and I said, um, "Is it okay if I grab seats at the bar if something becomes available before the forty-five minutes?" She goes, "Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just let me know if you do find seats." So I grabbed two two seats up by the by the bar, and there was this older gentleman sitting there by himself. And I'm sitting there by myself. So I started a conversation with them and I'm like... She goes, come here often. Is this your first time here? He's no, like, she no, said, I'm a local. Come, come here often. I never used that line. Oh, okay. Well, her, <laughs> her other line was... So I said, is this your first time here? He's like, no, I'm a local. I live here. And um, I told him how we were visiting from Ohio and that we, we came to the island um, to shell and I said do you ever shell do you go shelling this is how she picks up white nerdy guys in bars <laughs> Midwest and picker. the <laughs> best part is Midwest picker you guys need to schedule miss Midwest, Midwest meetup meet up. someday so so sh this guy all of a sudden quiet reserved all to himself is like did you say shelling <laughs> I brought him out of his shell it, literally. <laughs> so come to find out, this guy was the president of shelling For on the island. For years. Discovered four brand new shell species mm -hmm. never before mm -hmm. known about. He had an entire section displayed just for At him the library. At the, at the Sanibel Library. Yeah, the whole deal. I mean, this was just, it was crazy. It was pretty impressive. So I left. I let them two do their thing about shelling. I left. I went, you know. You went took to the a, bathroom. I went, I went, I went and took a long walk on the beach. I went, I went magnet fishing while they were talking about shelling. Mother of Pearl. The whole deal. She's like, do you know anything about buttons? <laughs> and he's got mother of pearl buttons. So that was... They're at the library. They were. They were at the library on display. Yeah. So what are the odds that we sit next to the president of the shelling club? So then I, for from that moment on, I considered him El Presidente. <laughs> so I continued to call him El Presidente of shelling. <laughs> Did somebody say shelling? So the best part was the next day. This is the crazy part. He gives us this. Hold on a sec. Someone just said Adam Bay says Gwen misses you and the entire warehouse crew. She probably isn't missing anybody. She's probably enjoying this time off. Yeah, I would believe it. So, so the next day, this is the crazy part. He goes through this huge resume of shelling and naming all these shells and the whole deal. 
We walk into the local shell store, you know, the, this on the corner shell store. And what does she whisper to me? She goes, isn't, isn't that the guy? Isn't that the guy that was sitting next to me yesterday at dinner? And it was. It he's, was. He's working he, the local shell store. I couldn't believe it. It was so random. So the most random. random thing in the world. So then he came to where we were in the store, and that's when you asked him. And I was like, hey, Are weren't you, you talking the, to her last night? Weren't you the guy we met at the restaurant? Yeah, and yeah. he's like, did somebody say shelling? <laughs> <laughs> and so El Presidente also works at the local shell shop. Uh -huh. It was wild. It was wild. So That's when we found out that if you find a clamshell... It's illegal. Years of jail. Years of jail. Yeah, lots of things are illegal. So that then our trip took there, us up to then like we the ended live, up the live shells, like the clams. The scallops. There were a lot of scallops that came up on the beach. If those are alive, that's illegal to take with you. So then we end up in uh, where did we go last night? Clearwater, Tampa, so, Clearwater. Here I have it written down. So Saturday we ended up in Tampa, where we met Joe Presley for the first time and her mom. Awesome, awesome. people too, as well. Worst room ever. <laughs> We're on. in a Hilton. Steve, Stephen Irwin just said, "What the shell is going on?" <laughs> nice. We're in a Hilton. Wait, hold on. Midwest Picker just said, did someone say reselling? Reselling? <laughs> so they give us the handicap room. We It's the most awkward room in it the world. It wasn't even handicap There's accessible. There's no couch for me to sleep on. The, the, the hallway was so narrow. The entire bathroom, there is no shower curtain or wall or door. It's literally, you turn the faucet on and it just, it floods the whole bathroom. And there were bugs Steve all Kelly. over the floor. Bugs all over the floor. Steve Kelly just sent one, two, three. <laughs> and we were supposed to be there again tonight. And it, we literally just said, we checked listen, out I early. can't do this. Yeah. I can't do this. There's no couch for me to sleep on. My back is killing me. This is a horrible location. Oh, there location. was also, and again, this was a Hilton. There were little bugs everywhere all over the room. And I woke up with bug bites all over my, my body. I was good because I never went to sleep because there was no couch for me to sleep on. But And then the room was by the maintenance closet, too. All So all night. They night. have 24-hour maintenance, so all night they're in there Banging getting, and getting refrigerators or whatever. whatever. There's no refrigerators in any of the rooms, so you have to request one. So we left, which brings us to the question, where, where the, the hails? hails? Are we? are we? We're supposed to be in Tampa right now, but yeah. we said I don't think it was bed bugs, the no. but they were just like little bugs. So it didn't we look like bed bugs. Are no longer there. We're no longer there. Uh, we are somewhere in the world. Yeah. The question is, do you know where? Can you guess where the hails we are right Someone now? Someone. And in one of the hotels that we stayed in, one of our viewers said, by the looks of the decoration and the artwork, I could tell that you're in, and then guess we're in the Carolinas. Huh. So maybe they can tell by the lamp and the Well, you can the see now we are in a suite, so she has a room to herself. It's a whole different And room. then I have a room to myself and with a couch. And his own TV. So I do. I have, I have a TV. TV. Have so she TV. has a room over there because it's a suite. And then I have a couch, a pull out, and then the TV. So finally, we're back in business <laughs> because the past two <laughs> nights were horrible. I feel like every time we've stayed at a Hilton, it's been a bad experience. Unless Hilton wants to corporately sponsor and us. And Hilton then. is supposed to be a five star hotel. Supposed to be five star. And if they want to sponsor us, we won't take it because there's too many bugs. Yeah. But. We have the last Hilton we stayed at. There was no hot water. We're at a Fairfield now, so you couldn't take a shower. Yeah, that was in that was in Dallas. Steve Kelly sent another two dollars, and said, slept in a tent. I completely missed it. What did it say? Uh, hold on, it said slept in a tent for three months due to bed bugs. Nasty. Woo! I call that fun. What? That's camping. <laughs> so where the hell's well, are bugs we? Isn't fun. So are we are we gonna tell them where we're at? 
Are we going to do any Someone more meetups? Where, where we were in a super chat. Um, I missed it. Let's see if I can find it. Ooh, Rogue Life guest Destin, Florida. That's a good guess. I was trying to convince him to go to Destin, Florida. Um, because we spent... We went to Fort Lauderdale by the sea to meet up some friends and the water wasn't clear. And then um, yesterday went to clear water and the water wasn't clear. So you were in clear water with your friend. I was working at Walmart on Wi-Fi. Yeah, it was kind it's of YouTube like life. It's nonstop, nonstop. Yeah. Steve M sent three dollars. My guess is Climax Georgia. No. No. So good guess, but that is. Incorrect. <laughs> oh man, are we almost? We're at fifty nine and a half yeah. minutes. Oh, okay, we're almost out of time. You know what we George should do? George George's my brother. George George okay. is going to go live after us. George George with taking a risk taking is going risk. live. Yes. Why don't we, George George? Can we jump on your live with you and then let everybody know where we're at and where yeah. we're going to go? He's got to send me the link. Is that okay? Let's see. Is George George? He was on the chat. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so what we'll do, here's what we'll do. We'll head over to George George with taking a risk set, I risk. guess. <laughs> All right. So George Send George is going to let us on and we'll share with you. <laughs> Locker Nut says, I'm hoping you're in, you're coming to San Francisco. That would be amazing. We, <laughs> Locker Nuts, we miss you guys like crazy. <laughs> Love you guys even more. Oh, for a second, Locker Nuts, yesterday, for a, for a hot second, I honestly thought we were in California. <laughs> If you watch the videos, <laughs> she's like, we're here in California. And then when you watch the next video, I do the same thing. She threw my game off and I'm like, because we're in California. Because the weather is the same. Like when we went to California for that mega collab, the weather in, in California is just as warm it is, as it is here in Florida. <laughs> we're going to head over to taking a risk. We're going to tell you exactly where the hails we are yes. so that you can expect us and we may be able to meet you as well. We might even buy you a unit just like we did with Donna. Mm -hmm. And we helped with, with Jill, with Donatella, yeah. and we've helped with Jill as well. Yeah. And that's one of the passions. So Northwest RC Club. Here Have we a go. Fantastic New Year, everyone. Appreciate it, Mark. Because we love you, YouTubers. Oh yes, we do. Appreciate it, Purple Pickers. We love you, YouTubers, and this is true. When you're not near, near, yeah, that's it, that's it, ready? <laughs> near us, we're blue. Oh, YouTubers, we love you. Make sure you guys hop on Taking a Risk with George Church and we'll tell you exactly where we are. Love you, YouTubers. Oh, yes, we do. Go to Taking a Risk. <laughs> If you want to know, so we, so we can tell you <laughs> where we are going. I, I screwed this whole thing up. <laughs> where we are going to see you, you. Oh, YouTubers, we love you.